guys this is Kalsi or Oscar or whatever you want to call me and this is a tutorial uh, and today I'm going to show you how to do this motion tracking um, it's basically putting text into scenes in Call of Duty so uh, to do this you need three programs um, it's After Effects here um, Cine 4D and Bushu so Bushu is the tracking program and this just to put it all together um, but first of all you need a cinematic and I got one here um, just one thing guys, uh, this is gonna be a long tutorial so keep in mind uh, don't get bored after the time because every step is important in this tutorial so anyways uh, first off we're gonna create a new map here on this desktop I'm gonna call it PNG or something um, then we're gonna head into Artifact to start off. Um, we're gonna create a new composition. Uh, whatever I I like to do 30 frames per second because that's that make the render time shorter in uh, in Cinema 40 later on. But that's not important actually. Just keep the same frame rate all through all programs and you will be fine. Um, so first of all, we're gonna import this clip here that I showed on the um, on the. Here it is. Uh, we're gonna import it, and we're gonna scale up here a little, a little bit. Drag it in, and as you see here, these things we wanna get rid of them. So what we basically do is drag it out a little, and then we can drag it up, so you don't see the text. A little bit more actually. Um, pretty much like this, I guess, and then we're gonna find the start when the when I start moving here and it's about there uh, just gonna scale up here and then we're gonna drag this one into here this is the rendering uh, part so from here it will render and then we'll go to the end where it stop moving and that's about I'm gonna do here actually and then we drag the other one the other way yellow thing here to the stop, scale it up, and you see that it's on the right, right frame here, um, like this. And now we're just gonna render this section here of the clip. Uh, then we can do, I'm just gonna check, double check that it's 30 frames per second. Yes, it is good. Um, then we're gonna add to render queue, and this is very important. You're gonna click here, output module. module and go to format and go down to PNG sequence. What this basically does is it creates a lot of frames or pictures that we later gonna import into Bushu, but that will later. And output two, uh, this is gonna create a lot of pictures, so I suggest you do it in a folder, or otherwise you will get all the pictures all, all over the uh, desktop. So in the, in the folder here, I'm gonna click save, like this and then I hit render so now we're gonna cut the video so let's see you in when it's done so we're rendered out now and uh, gonna quit After Effects here and it's gonna double check that everything is alright with the pictures here we go um, and it's supposed to be a lot of pictures here, picture here in the PNG folder um, what we do now is we're gonna open Boshu, the tracking program that hopefully everybody have. <laughs> so now this is the hard part I think actually and I will explain it later. But this first steps here is pretty easy. Okay, first you're gonna do is this is probably the first time you will ever use this program because this is the only thing that I use this program for. So, first of all, here is the, all the buttons that you press later. But first of all, the only button that, the button that we can press is import sequence right here. So, we're gonna press that and go to where we have saved uh, the pictures. Got the desktop and. Oh shit. I think it was this one. Yes, it was. Uh, then we're gonna press the first of the pictures and we hit hit open 
and I'm gonna change this to 30 frames per second and hit apply and hit close and then we're just gonna press this track feature and I will be back when it's done I think this takes about 5 minutes or something on my computer so it's just boring sitting and watching it render so I'll be back when it's done oh yeah you hit that button as you hit start and then we will begin tracking So it's done here, and we have created all of these yellow and red dots, uh, yellow lines I mean, and they will stick to the to the points, and we know that it's, that it that it is it's perfect done here. So what we're gonna do now is more of this tracking. We're gonna hit this camera solve just underneath track uh, track features, and we're gonna hit. Optimize camera's path smoothness and we hit start. And that should do pretty pretty quick. It's always oh yeah, there is there's done. And now we have all of these yellow and blue dots. Now here comes the important part. because uh, now we're gonna hit uh, do some scene geometry and what this basically is it's uh, you tell Cinema 4D where the plane is, so it knows where the text will go. And if you, if this isn't done right, the whole thing will be messed up. So this is important, but it isn't that hard actually. So what we're gonna do is press this in geometry, and we're gonna hit Add Coordinates from Hint right there. And as you see now, this thing come up here. We're gonna go to type here and change the type to x axis. So x axis is this way, uh, horizontal. Um, so what we're gonna do is select two um, of these dots that I think is uh, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is, is scrub through a little, check uh, where it would be good to do. I will probably choose this dot and this dot. Remember holding command or whatever it is on PC to select another dot like this and then we're gonna hit connect to selected and then we just hit another and add coordinates from hint and we press uh, C -ax Z axis which is uh, vertically or backwards and for that one we're gonna hit um, mm, I'm gonna do this one and this one actually and hit connect to selected and once again add coordinates from hint and this time we're gonna hit the e y axis which is uh, upwards uh, so for this one we're gonna hit uh, I'm gonna look here for some good points ah here we go this one and this one Connect to selected, add coordinates from hint once again, and this one time we're gonna go do the origin, and we just gonna hit a point somewhere in the middle. I, this is isn't important. Just hit a point in the middle. I'm gonna do that and connect to selected, and then we're gonna update coordinates from hint, uh, update coordinates chord frame. I'm gonna click it twice just to be sure, and then we hit close. And to see that it's all done correctly, we're gonna uh, add a test object here. And if that one stays, it is probably done done good. Yeah, that seems pretty good. Um, yeah, to get it out of bush here, we're gonna go to export up here, export camera solve, and then you save it anywhere you like. Like I, I like to save my things to the desktop. Because it's easy to find things there. So I'm gonna do click here, desktop, just name it solve. Wait, solve. There we go, uh, save. Then I'm gonna export type, go to Cinema 4D, uh, scale scene by, this is important, scale scene by 100. And then just hit save. And you can see like this, and I'm gonna close this here. 
yeah, loosen, save changes, uh, like this. And what we're gonna do now is just double click this to open it up in Cinema 4D. Mm, I hope this is done correctly now. <laughs> Uh, I think so. And then this this is important too. Uh, lightweight well, lightweight 3D import scale to 10. That's important. And hit OK. Oops. Um, let's. What? No. What happened? Come on. There we go. Great. And you see here it moves pretty perfectly. Just gonna drag this one out a little. Like this. Boom. Uh, to add to the video, we're gonna go to this thing here, go down to background, and double click here to new to do a new material. Double click the material and check off specular and go to texture and color, and hit load image. Go to the PNG folder, hit the first frame, and hit open, and uh, no one this one, and then we're gonna. Go you see a texture, and then you can click this thing here, this big oval thing here. Just click that. Go to right here, animation, and hit calculate down there. And then you can hit that down and drag it up to the background, like this. And we have the video, like this. And then to just add some text, you go up here and add mo text. I'm gonna place it in the middle here, scale it up a little, and press tutorial. Smiley, maybe <laughs> I don't know. Um, and you can change font here. Yeah. Anyways, and it will stay in the scene pretty perfectly. And then to add some shadows and stuff, actually I'm gonna do another font. I'm gonna change it to whoop ass. I like this font. Uh, to do some shadows and stuff, we have to do um, a plane, and to do that we hit the cube here, and go to plane, and drag this up, scale it up I mean, um, pretty big actually, um, like this, and then we drag the material on, and here's some par important parts. Then you right click this, go to Cinema 4D tags, and go to Compositing tag, and check off self shadowing, and com and check composite background. And then we're gonna do, go to Material on the plane, and go to Projection, and go to Frontal. And now if you if you ran preview here, it should it shouldn't show the plane, and it doesn't. So. Um, I like to sh change uh, the lightning a little bit, like go here and go to this, uh, here, go to this uh, arrow light, see here, I think that looks fucking amazing, I... that looks so sexy actually, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, if you want more shadows you can add a a simple light here and just go to shadows on the left a little right I mean and go to shadows map soft and then voila no shadows of course wait a second I'm just gonna fix that oh it was here we go like this and to render this out, you simply press. Uh, here's my render settings for my 3D motion tracks. Uh, you, in general, you don't change anything. Here, you don't. The only thing you change here is where the starting frame is zero and the end frame is whatever the end frame for you is. But mine is 246, like this. And then we're going down to save. Uh, you choose somewhere to save it, I'm gonna save it right there and just whatever. And then we go to format and go down to QuickTime Movie and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then you just just hit render. 
And I'm gonna show show it an example on the end of this video. Uh, but before this ends, I just uh, want you to comment on this video and say what I what I what do you want me to do a tutorial on? Because I really don't know what I should do, and you guys probably have something you want to know how to do, and I'll be glad to do it for you. So just comment on this video and like it if you like it, and if this helped, like it, and yeah. This has been Kasi, thank you for watching, bye.